So the model itself is a complex system of systems, right? When you first look at what the CPD model looks like, you may be surprised at the size and the scope and you look at all of the pieces and it all looks very complex. But when we start to take it apart, you'll see that most of this kind of makes sense. And then you can ask questions about, you know, how much of this are you effectively doing within your own organization? And where and how should we identify and prioritize certain aspects of this that we should try to drive improvements against? So maybe let's take a look a little bit at what the model looks like overall. All right, so you see here that there are a lot of moving parts. So let's try to look at each of the parts just very briefly to try to get a sense of how the pieces work together and how the various things roll up to support an overarching digital management approach. So the first piece of this, we might call the governance and assurance loop, right? So if you look around the outside of the diagram, the organization establishes broad organizational governance goals. What are the strategies we wish to follow? What are the policies we want to apply in order to achieve our organizational objectives, right? Those eventually get reflected in management activities we have to carry out to deliver on this. And we want to have some meaningful way to measure and assure that those governance goals are reflected in the activities of the organization. They deliver the results that we are looking for. The second key piece of this looks specifically at strategy and enterprise risk management. That organizations traditionally look at strategy and risk management and optimization perhaps as separate towers within the organization's overarching governance approach. And we would suggest that you can't really operate in a digital world without an integrated view of strategy risk. In short, your ability to manage digital risk becomes part of your strategic capabilities, becomes part of your competitive organizational advantage. The third loop that we'll look at here talks about how these strategies get reflected in organizational governance goals, right? How do we establish a set of key policies and practices? How do we establish organizational key questions to answer and how and what our metrics ought to be to be able to connect our strategic objectives to how and what we're going to then use to drive the organization's ability to execute. The fourth aspect of this looks specifically at how that governance then gets aligned to execution. How do we take the strategic intent of the organization and reflect it in our operational goals? What kinds of adaptations need to be made to existing practices to help us build and deliver the organizational capabilities that we need so that we can successfully execute the organization's business goals and deliver these digital capabilities? The last piece, and perhaps the most important from the organization's perspective, is how do we then execute and deliver on these digital business capabilities? How do we ensure value is delivered and protected? And how do we measure and use those measurements and metrics to drive various types of innovations, whether they're happening within the existing capabilities that the organization has, or whether they may be large enough innovations that may drive needs for organizational change in strategic policies, or even changes in the organization's overall paradigm of how they deliver digital business value to their customers and stakeholders. So when you look at all these pieces together, each of them describes some aspect of how we create organizational alignment and how we create effective fast feedback loops, right? Eventually, digital business is about adaptation. And one of the things that the CPD model allows us to do is to be able to establish clear linkages between creation and protection of value 
and to be able to identify quickly what adaptations need to be made in order to help the organization to be able to take advantage of new opportunities.